Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to calibrate a rev counter fitted with the Clocks for Classics repair kit. And there's three things that we need to calibrate. First of all, we need to teach the electronic the exact position of the markings on the rev counter scale. Then we need to set the rev counter for the correct number of cylinders, so that's four, six or eight cylinders, depending on your car. And finally, we need to set up the signal polarity, positive or negative depending on your car's electrical system. Now as you can see I have a rev counter here and this has been fitted with the Clocks for Classics repair kit. And I've connected the wiring from the rev counter to this car battery on the bench. So I've connected the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery and the red wire to the positive terminal. And the white wire from the rev counter I've left unconnected for this calibration. Now the way we ca carry out the calibration is by using this calibration button on the one corner of the circuit board. It's quite small but I hope you can see it there. And if I press that button it gives quite an audible click so you can hear easily when you've pressed it. Now the way we start the calibration is to hold that button down for five seconds which I'm going to do now. And when I release the button you will see that the needle will start to move very slowly around the scale. So I'm releasing the button now. It takes a few seconds before the needle starts to move, but in a moment you will see that it will. And there it goes, starting to move very slowly around the scale. Now if I press and release this button quickly, it will briefly stop the needle, so that helps me to position it on the scale. And when the needle gets to the 1000 RPM point, that's the first calibration point, I'm going to hold that button down for at least five seconds and that will teach the electronics where the 1000 RPM point is. So it's coming up to that point now and I'm holding the button down now. And I hold it down for five seconds and there you can see the needle gave that little click, little kick and that means that the electronics has registered the position of the 1000 RPM point. Now I'm going to release the button and the needle will start to move again. And now I'm going to carry out exactly the same procedure for the 3000 RPM point. Okay, we're getting close to 3000 RPM now. So I'm going to slow the needle down with a couple of quick presses on the button. And then we get when we get to 3000 RPM, I'm going to hold the button down. There it is, holding the button down. And there's that kick that tells us the electronics has recorded that position. So I'll let the gut button go again and we'll repeat the same thing for 5000 RPM. Okay, we're getting close to 5000 RPM now. A couple of quick presses on the button to slow the needle down. And I'm holding the button again now. And there's the kick. Now, when I release the button this time, the needle will go all the way back to zero. And then it's going to go to three positions. And those three positions are the three choices for the number of cylinders on your car. So I'll let the button go. There the needle goes all the way back to zero. And it's going to go to three positions and the first position is going to be 1000 RPM and that represents four cylinders. So if you wanted four cylinder setting you'd stop the needle there. Then it's going to go to 3000 RPM that represents six cylinders and then finally it's going to go to 5000 RPM and that represents eight cylinders. And if you don't choose one of those, it will just keep repeating that cycle. So I want to set this rev counter up for six cylinders. So I'm going to stop it at 3000 RPM. So there it's at 1000. I don't want that. And there it's coming round to 3000. I'm going to hold the button down there. Wait for that kick. And that says the electronics has recorded that position 
and it's set to the rev counter for six cylinder operation. Now I'm going to let the button go again and this time it's going to go to zero and give us two choices and they are for the polarity of the signal. So first of all it's going to go to 1000 rpm and that represents negative earth or positive earth with electronic ignition. And the other position it will go to will be 5000 rpm and that represents positive earth with contact breakers. So I want to set this rev counter to negative earth so I'm going to let it repeat its cycle again and stop it at the 1000 rpm point. There we are, I'll hold the button down again and it will give me another kick, there it is, and that says it's set the system for negative earth. So I'm going to let the button go again now and the needle will go back to zero and that is the rev counter calibrated. And if you at any point decide you need to change the calibration for any reason, um, then you can just repeat this procedure. So that's the, the rev counter calibrated and thank you for watching.